Hey guys, we're back with another Hackchi tutorial. Today we're looking at the Atari 7800. Ever since I got the visual compendium by Bitmap Books, I've been a little bit more interested in the 7800. Before that, I didn't know much about the system at all. Like that it actually could have competed with the NES back in the late 80s. Or that less than 60 games were actually released for the system, which makes this a good system to have on your mini. Huge thanks to Xbox ISO for hooking me up with a few things to help me get this tutorial started. So the first step is to hack your system. I have a tutorial to show you how to do that in the description down below. Once your system's hacked and you have it connected to your PC with the green light in the corner, the first thing you want to do is go to your modules tab and to the KMFD mod hub. Go to the KMFD RetroArch tab and install whichever version of RetroArch you want. The only difference is the theme that is available. Once you've made your decision, hit the download module button down here, then go to the KMFD course tab. Scroll down till you get to the Atari 7800 section, click Pro System, then download module once more, then you can close the mod hub. Go back to your modules tab, then install extra modules. Put a check mark next to RetroArch if you haven't installed that already, and another one next to Pro System. Hit OK at the bottom. Next, we're going to add the games. Click the Add More Games button at the bottom. Navigate to the folder where you keep your Atari 7800 games. Highlight the ones you want to add, then click Open. You can also open the folder where you keep your ROMs, highlight them, and drag them directly into HackG. And since there were so few of them, I've actually added all the 7800 games. Getting the box art is a little funky because these games were on other systems, especially the Atari 2600, so you may get that box art when you go to search for it. So I just put a little 7800 tag at the end of the name, and for the most part I got the box art I was looking for. To move these games from HackG to your system, you want to hit the Synchronize Selected Games with Mini button down here, or Export to USB if you're using external storage like a SD card or USB flash drive. This method works on the NES and SNES Classic and the Sega Genesis Mini. For this demonstration, I'm going to show you how this looks on the Sega Genesis Mini. We're all set here, so let's head over to the system and see how everything went. Alright, here we are. Man, it feels like I haven't booted up my Genesis in forever. So it looks like the games transferred great. Everything looks really nice. I love the artwork on the Atari 7800 games. It looks so cool. Let's boot up a couple games and make sure that everything installed okay. Is that Chuck Norris? What? What is it? Chuck Norris? Let's do it. That is Chuck Norris. Wow. Escape Freedom Quest. Alright. What? I'm in a... Oh. I like this. Why is he ki I'm not even out of the bag yet and he's kicking at me. Oh, jeez. Oh, you're gonna go up against Chuck Norris? No, 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 no. I don't know who you are. Oh, that music is sweet, too. All right, here we go. So, yeah, this actually... I mean, this really could have com competed with Nintendo. That's crazy. Had Atari made a few... Oh, God, what's happening? I don't think the emulator liked that game very much. Uh, let's try another one. Here's a familiar one, Rampage. Let's see how this looks on the 7800. That is it. A lot of the games for the 7800 were arcade remakes. That's what they were trying to pull a lot of customers into because, you know, they wanted good ports of arcade games on their home systems. All right, this looks pretty good. Oh, I'm going to eat that cactus. I know I'm not supposed to, but I want to eat it anyway. I don't care. I don't have to listen to you. You're not my mom. Maybe take out some choppers. Yes, there we go. Ralph. Oh, no. Oh, no. I feel like this isn't going as good as it should be as a gigantic monster. But we're okay now because I ate that soldier. All this destruction. When will it end? Oh, I ate that. Oh, I shouldn't have eaten the dynamite guy. That's okay. Is this one going to go down? There we go. Last one. Where are we? I don't even know what city this is. Do we have... Ooh, a computer? I don't know if that was good. Oh, you know what? That could have been a bomb. We saved the building from the bomb, guys. How about that? We're heroes. We're Ralph the Hero. All right, I'm digging this. Let's take a look at another one. How about Midnight Mutants? Wait, I know that guy. Grandpa. What show is that from? Anyway, I, I know him from, I think there was a spoof show from like the Adams Family or whatever. Oh, something bad is going on here. October 1747. Burn the witch! Oh, he's going to come back. He's not happy. October 92, whoa. Oh, he's back. Okay. So we got burned and he's summoning dogs from the pumpkins. Vengeance is his. What is that? Is that a per- Oh, he- Okay, they're in a pumpkin. Take that, Gramps. Oh, so we have whoever- 
Oh, what was the name of that show? I'll put it in here. I can't remember the name of the show. But I remember him being a character in that show. Alright, so the ultimate Halloween nightmare, Midnight Mutants. Alright, well, I'd like that heart. I can't get that heart. And there's... Oh, the crow hurts. Who are we? Oh, there's Grandpa. Help the wicked Dr. Evil. Really? Has risen from the grave and imprisoned me inside a... Plasmic Pumpkin. I can't be with you, but I can give you clues, which may help. Whenever you need me, press the right button, and I might have some good advice. Okay. Oh, that was another thing. The 7800 is a great system to emulate on your Genesis because, you know, the the control that comes with the system has so few buttons. Um, and this emulates great. You don't need to get any other controllers to get this running. Some proclaim that Simon hates the human race. Who's Simon? I just saw a Pumpkin Man. The wolves howl in the distance. Oh, this is kind of creepy. This is a little bit of a creepy game. There's a pumpkin, dude. Okay, my blood is 90% pure. Damon kept a collection of human eyeballs. Damon's got some problems. Icy shivers run down your spine. I'm scared, apparently. Well, let's go over here besides crows. This has a weird isometric movement system. Oh, I found pumpkin, man. Can I do anything? I can call grandpa. Get the knife first. It can be found in the west of the mansion. Until you find it, you're helpless. So avoid monsters. Oh, okay, so I should have went west. I, uh... This place drives me batty. Oh, God. No. All right, last one. I think I want to try Ninja Golf because this is a very popular game on the system. I've never played it before. Um, but I like golf games. This looks nice. After many long years of ninja training, you are finally ready for the most difficult test of all. Nine holes of ninja golf. What is this game? Okay. All right. Number one. Let's, uh, I guess we'll just hit the ball and go. There we go. What is this? What am I doing? Oh, I'm gonna fight this guy. Oh, I have ninja stars. I got something. I think I got a shield. What, a gopher? Wait a minute. Are these gophers? Oh, ninja gophers. Okay, so we have to fight our way to the, our, our ball? That's insane. That's hilarious. This was a real game. This was an actual game released for this system. Alright, get some Caddyshack vibes from these guys. Just jump up. Forget these guys. I have golf to play, and I hit my ball so freaking far. Lots of battles. Ow! Ow, where's Chuck Norris? Can I get Chuck Norris back? So, is this not even really a golf game? Because I feel like I'm doing more fighting than golfing. Um, so here we go. Oh, not, I don't think we hit the green. Okay, we almost got it. Almost there. It's a, well, how do you putt on this? That'll be interesting. I want to figure out the putting mechanic. Oh, I got something. What? 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 Why are we fighting a dragon? How? What is this? What? Is this? This is how you finish the hole by fighting a dragon. This isn't real golf. This is insane. I got a four on the first. Is that good? I don't know. All right, that's enough of that. Having too much fun. So that's cool. Um, The Atari 7800 runs really good on these systems. And like I said, it works just fine on the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo Classics as well. If you have any questions on getting this running, I'll leave the Rockin' the Classics Discord in my description for you to join. And that's it. I hope this video could be useful to you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. This is the part of the video where I thank those users who support the channel through YouTube memberships and Patreon. John Westby, Dor, Rick67, Travis Morton, Geo, Jason Holbrooks, Mike Munez, Sam Torres, Yaroslav Oruzov, Andre G, Din Cardoso, James Burkhart, Red Silvers, Craig Livesley, Lynn Mayer, James McEwen, and Batman.